As you can see, absorber one, differential pressure, is 117 as compared to the number two side, which is 253. That's a drop of more than an inch of delta P. And you can also see here on the number two side on a moving scale, about two and a half inches as compared to the number one side, which is a little over one. This will result in horsepower savings on the ID fan and hopefully increase the absorber efficiency and reduce carryover. Since 1985, we've used the OEM missile laminators and bulk entrainment blades in our scrubbers. 1995-96, we did an evaluation of new materials and came up with a new bulk entrainment section. As you can see, the curved blade is quite a bit different than the original solid blade. This blade has allowed us to use less materials to reduce more moisture carryover. Also in the missile eliminator section, you can see the old chevrons with the triangular blades as compared to the new Munter section right here, which uses the curved blade. This also improves the efficiency of moisture reduction. You'll also note that the old fiberglass and this is a material called polysulfan. It's more flexible and stands up to embrittlement over the years, thus lasting longer than the older fiberglass sections. This is Absorber 1-2 in service with the old fiberglass combustion engineering blades. The white streaks you see flashing by the window are water droplets. This is right above the mist eliminator section, bulk entrainment, and you can see the amount of moisture that's allowed by. This is taken at 400 megawatts, and this unit's been in line for about nine months. Absorber 1-1, right above the bulk entrainment section. And as you can see, there's no moisture droplets going by the window. This unit's been in line now for approximately a month. You can still see the blades and the original colors. This is before a mist eliminator wash. Not only does this improve tower efficiency, reduce horsepower on the ID fans, but the life of these blades should last longer, thus reducing maintenance costs.